this video I want to try and trace the actual code that does the selection sort so that you have a deeper understanding of how the sort works. It starts off by saying how many passes would I need? How many times would I need to go through the list before it's sorted? It's a very standard question which you all find in the other sorts. So in this case you have six elements. So after each pass one element will be in its position. So you only need to put five in position which automatically puts the sixth one in its position. So the out of four loop determines how many passes you'll do and you'll see it's from one to count minus one. So if there's six elements you will be doing five passes. So pass is initialized to one for the first loop and then you set max pass to zero. So you kind of start off and you're saying your first maximum element is the one at position zero in the list. Okay, now we look at the inner loop. The inner loop says how many elements do I need to visit to try and find whether they are not the maximum uh, element in the unsorted part of the list. So we notice that we've identified the first element which will always identify as our first maximum element. And then we'll start at the second element always at position 1. And we'll go to L count minus pass. Now the first time means we will be going right through to the end. But notice the next time the maximum element will be at the end. So then we'll be going to the second last element which will be L count minus 2. 6 minus 2 is 4. But for the first time we now have pass set to 1. And max pause we've seen uh, set to 0. And we've determined x to be going from 1 to 5 for the inner loop. So the first time we do the body of the inner loop, we are saying we have x set to 1, max pass set to 0. So that if statement simply says, is the, one at the element at position 1 greater than our current max pass? Obviously it's not. So... Um, it's ignored. When x becomes 2 we're now saying is the one at position 2 bigger than the one at max pass? It's not so max pass stays unchanged. Now x becomes 3 and the element at position 3 is compared to our maximum element and clearly 90 is bigger than 55. Because 90 is bigger than 55, we now say that our maximum element is at position 3. So max pos changes to x, which is 3. The loop continues with x becoming 4, and it now compares the element at position 4 with the element at position 3, which is clearly not bigger than our current maximum. The last element visited is the one at position 5, 67 which once again is not greater than the 90 at position 3. So we've now uh, gone through the, the inner loop for the first time. We know that the maximum element is at position 3 and it needs to be swapped to the last with the last element in the list which is at position count minus pass. So the 90 and the 67 needs to swap. So the 90 and the 67 swaps 67 goes to position 3, 90 goes to the end, and then we see that last element part of the list as being sorted. So in the future we only need to sort the elements from 0 to 4. So now we, re we repeat the outer loop. So pass now becomes 2, and max pass is again set to 0. So we're saying we're doing the elements from 0 to 4 and we've decided we start off with the element at position 0 being our current maximum. And the elements we need to compare it with are the elements from 1 to 4, that the unsorted part of the array. Notice what 4 is. 4 is um, count minus pass. So 4 is 6 minus 2. So we'll be comparing those four elements with the current max. So once we've completed the inner loop we would find that the max position is 3, the 67 is the maximum and it now needs to swap with the position 4, the 60. So 67 and 60 
needs to swap. So once the 67 and the 60 has swapped, the last two elements are now seen as the sorted part of the array and for the next outer loop we will be looking at the elements from 0 to 3. So after each pass, one more element will be added to the back in its correct position. And notice after pass 5, you would have 5 elements in their correct position. And the 6th element has no other choice than being at position 0. So after the 5th pass, if there were 6 elements, the list will be sorted.